Good morning, everyone. Bray here. I am back in the saddle. Got my power back. Got everything settled I needed to for right after the storm. Now we're going to be back to covering it for you folks who are still dealing with it up in North South Carolina, Virginia, uh, Lower Maryland. Uh, as you can see, there is a lot still going on with the system. It looks like it just made landfall last couple of hours. Uh, pretty close to Charleston. Um, I'm not familiar with the area, so I don't know the exact names of the cities here. But uh, as you can see, the wind field is still fairly large, not the strongest, but definitely large. Um, it is still dumping a ton of rain all, almost all across North Carolina from east to west. Um, some rain associated is making its way through Virginia and into lower Maryland. So a lot of storm or a lot of severe storms are embedded within this system, especially up in this area around Raleigh. Uh, you can see the darker oranges, <laughs> those have had tornado warnings issued, so be ready to respond to those if you hear the sirens blare. And radio towers could be knocked out, that happened in my area on landfall, uh, when or Debbie as a hurricane made landfall in my area. Her, the towers were off for a couple of days afterwards and only recently came back online. So definitely have your radios on, tune in to regular radio stations as those will probably be rebroadcasting stuff from the National Weather Service in situations like this where you have intense flooding or sustained high wind and or just embedded severe th storms. You have to be really concerned about these as a tornado could be at any point in this and it will be difficult to see even on radar. So if you get that warning, take it seriously because that can cause as much damage as the hurricane itself. Or in this case, tropical storm. But Unfortunately, I don't have much more for you. You guys that are dealing with it, you're in the middle of it. You're much better acquainted to your local area than I am. So all I can say is please be safe. Uh, listen to your local advisors and your local or weather sources. And if uh, they tell you to get out, you probably should consider it. And of course, if you're in a danger zone, seek help. And those of you who are still going to work in all of this, uh, be safe, uh, mind the wet road conditions, because chances are things are probably exceptionally wet in these areas. Uh, gusty winds can topple over or tractor trailers very easily. We had one in my local area that was still braving things in the middle of landfall, and it did not end well for them, to say the least. So please, be safe, keep an eye on everything, and I'll be back with you uh, hopefully tonight with uh, or with another update, and probably not a big one. And there'll probably be another video update tomorrow, but if you're in these areas, please stay safe. That's all I have for you today. Take care and peace out.